ancient stone tools that were discovered in the Chanel Wilkie cave in Poland around 50 years ago have been re-examined and dated. Instead of belonging to Neanderthals living in the region, these tools are now considered to be much older and were most likely created and used by a completely different extinct human species. My name is Kaylee, and in this video I am going to tell you about the discovery of these stone tools and the re-examination and implication that these tools belonged to an even older species of ancient extinct humans. So back in 1967 and 1968, excavations took place in the Tunnel Wilkie Cave in Poland. This cave is located in the Oshko National Park which I'm probably butchering the name of, uh, which is located in Krakow County, just north of Krakow in southern Poland. During these first initial excavations, the layers of materials were dated to the Holocene and Middle Paleolithic. So that means it was dated somewhere between 11,700 and at the oldest 40,000 years ago. But archaeologists Claudio Berto of the University of Warsaw actually thought that the dating was off as the animal remains recovered from the site were almost certainly older than 40,000 years. For a very long time the artifacts found at the cave weren't really looked at until 2016 when archaeologists finally decided to return to the cave and re-examine the contents. And now it's time to look into the re-examination of the Tunnel Wilkie Cave by archaeologists in 2016 and 2018 and what they uncovered. So this latest news also shows the importance of going back to previously excavated sites and re-examine them with our modern equipment, with our new technologies and fresh pairs of eyes. I mean, a fresh pair of eyes will always see and find new things. We know this. In 2018, archaeologist Malgorzata Kot of the University of Warsaw in Poland and her team reopened and extended one of the previously dug trenches in the cave. They carefully examined the different layers of material that had been accumulated over the years and collected more bone fragments to analyze. So they discovered that the upper layers indeed contained bones of animals that lived during the late Pleistocene and the Holocene, but that the bottom layers dated much further back, much further back than previously thought. These bottom layers contained bones of multiple species that lived around half a million years ago. Species like the European jaguar, the Mosbach wolf, which is an ancestor to modern grey wolves, a large species of wild dog known as Lycon lycanoids, and Denninger's bear. The wild dog species that they discovered actually disappeared from Central Europe around 400,000 years ago, revealing the prehistoric youngest date of the layer in which they were excavating which is quite insane. This bottom layer actually also revealed evidence of flint napping, including flint flakes and the course from which they were struck. They also found a number of finished tools, including knives. So due to the fact that these stone tools were discovered in the exact same layer as the species of extinct wild dog, the archaeologists knew at that time that these tools could not have been younger than at least 400,000 years. This was actually the reason they started to question who was responsible for creating these tools. So around 400,000 years ago, Homo heidelbergensis was the main species of human living in Europe. And therefore, the archaeologists were of the belief that they should be credited with the creation of said stone tools. So the next step for them was to date the sediment in which these tools were found. And this actually came back with a date between 450,000 and 550,000 years ago. This date is too old for Neanderthals to have inhabited the area. So therefore, they concluded that these stone tools had to have belonged to the extinct species of Homo heidelbergensis, which is regarded as the last common ancestor of the Neanderthals and us modern humans. 
So I have actually created a quite extensive video on the species of Homo heidelbergensis in the past. If you haven't seen that video, I will put it as a card in the upper right corner, or you can find the video on my channel in the hominids playlist. So what the researchers actually found most interesting is that Homo heidelbergensis occupation in the area was mostly found in open air encampments. I'm not saying in Poland, because this is the first discovery of you know, Homo heidelbergensis in Poland, but you know, in the broader area they used to live in open air encampments. This is actually the very first time they found occupation of Homo heidelbergensis in a cave in this area. The archaeologists were actually quite surprised to find that half a million years ago, the human species in the area decided to stay in a cave, as they never deemed it to be one of the better places to set camp. The caves this far north in Europe have quite a low average temperature and quite a high percentage of moist, which would, you know, discourage occupation. It's not nice to be in a moisty, cold environment. At the same time, of course, a cave is a natural shelter, a closed space that gives inhabitants a sense of security. So the researchers did discover traces that may indicate that the inhabitants used fire which, of course, you know, would tame a dark and moist place like a cave and make it much more habitable. Sounds reasonable enough. Unfortunately, at this point in time, the hominin remains discovered at the cave have not yet been scientifically identified as Homo heidelbergensis, as the genetic material needed for identification has not survived the sands of time. The researchers do, of course, hope that one day they can confirm their assumptions. Maybe one day our technology lets us identify remains without the same restrictions as we are experiencing, without the same restrictions as we are experiencing in this day and age. But that's the beauty of science, archeology span and anthropology. It's always developing and evolving. And one day we are able to do things that we currently can't even fathom. So what do you think of this latest news from Poland? The oldest evidence of most likely Homo heidelbergensis in the country and this far northeastern Europe dating back to at least 450,000 years ago, possibly even to 550,000 years ago. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But with that said, if you enjoyed watching, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to see more of these kind of videos, and click that bell icon if you want to be notified whenever I upload. If you haven't seen my previous videos yet, then click that card in the upper right corner, or click one of the links in the description down below, or click a video in the end card. Whatever, just watch more. Um, I would also like to say a massive thank you to all my patrons and my channel members. Thank you so much for supporting me. It means the absolute world to me to know that you're here and I'm currently driving between four and six hours a week for my driving lessons. And I have my driving exam on April 18th already and it's already going way too fast and oh, I'm already stressing out about it. But yeah, uh, my instructor says that I should probably, you know, pass with flying colors the first time, but it's the Netherlands and usually if you only have 30 hours of driving lessons, they will not let you pass because they will say that you need more experience and all that stuff. For my American viewers, you will probably not comprehend any of this because driving in America is way different than in the Netherlands. It's a, a world of a difference apart, like, oof, it's bad. But yeah, um, with that said, <laughs> I'm already stressing out about that. So that's why I'm not making these amazing long videos about ancient apocalypse at the moment, because my mind is already like done at this point. I've had five migraines this week, going strong. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video. And thank you so much for supporting me and being here with me always. It means the world to me, truly. And because of you guys, I feel like I can continue doing this work. So thanks. See you next time. Bye.